Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Tutorial for Beginners. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can update or edit data in Laravel. So here you can see your Titan description and image and I'm going to show you how we can edit those data and I'm going to show you everything step by step from the very beginning. So first of all, let's go and have a update button over here or let's have a edit button over here. So for it, let's go back to our code and we'll go to the, uh, here you can see all post. You can see post title, description, image. So after this, we're going to have another TH. And in this TH, we're going to show over here, let's say edit. And after it, what we're going to do is that inside this for each loop, we're going to mention another TD over here. We'll say over here TD and in this TD, we're going to have a anchor tag. And in this anchor tag, we're going to show over here edit. So right now, if we save, then if we now refresh here, there you can see we have the edit column over here and we have the edit text over here. So right now let's go and add some design for this edit pattern. So for it, we are going to add a bootstrap class for this anchor tag. So here we are going to show our hair class, it will be BTN, BTN let's say primary, primary and let's save this and we need to do one more thing and that is we need to add bootstrap serial link at the top of the head section so for it what i'm going to do is that i'm going to search over here bootstrap serial link and i can just copy this from here the bootstrap serial link Control c then i'll just paste it inside the head section Control b so right now if we save then if we now refresh over here there you can see we have a button design over here you can see the edit option and the design also changed a little bit because of bootstrap so right now what you want is that when we click on the edit button what it will do is that it will get the specific id for a specific post and it will also show the id over here so for it let's go back and let's go down and here you can see for the edit we have a h shape so we'll give to second bracket over here like this then we're going to show over here url to first bracket then to single position so let's say the url name will be edit underscore post and right now we also need to get the specific id for which post we want to update the data so whenever we click on let's say this edit button it will get the id for this post so in order to do that what we need to do is that we need to give a comma over here and here you can see using dollar post we are able to get the title so using dollar post we should also be able to get the id as well so here what we are going to do is that we are going to show here dollar post then this arrow sign will show here id so why we use id in order to update a specific post uh, because id is always unique over here you can see for the post table we have the id column and id will be always unique okay so right now once you just type this the url name edit post and the get the id then save then if we now refresh here then if we now click on this edit option it will show you id over here let me just show you if i now click on edit there you can see in the urm you are able to see edit underscore post slash id which is over here you can see edit underscore post and we are able to get the id for example here you can see id is 3 if we choose different on for example if we choose this on click on edit there you can see the id is 4 and here you can see 404 not found because we did not create the route for this so right now let's go back and let's go back to our code and let's go and create a route for this so we'll go to our routes then web.php and here we are going to uh, copy this route Control c and i'm going to paste it over here and the route will be get okay and the route name it will be edit underscore post so we are going to say over here uh, edit underscore post We'll use the home controller and the function name will be edit underscore post as well. Okay. And right now here you can see that we are sending the ID form here as well. So we also need to catch the ID in the route. So for in order to catch the ID, we need to give a slash over here. 
the to second bracket and all we need to do is that we need to say here id so right now let's save this and let's go to our home controller and create this edit underscore post function so we'll go to our home controller let me go down and here we are going to save public function edit underscore post to first bracket and here from here we are sending the id right so we also need to cast the id over here so we saw our here dollar id then to second bracket so right now what we are going to do is that we are just going to return a simple view from here so we saw our here return view let's the view name will be edit or let's say over here update underscore post okay we also need to send the specific data for this id but we'll do it later right now let's go and create an update underscore post or blade dot php in the views so here i'll click on right click on views then click on new file and i'm going to show it here update underscore post dot blade dot php control s then save so here we're going to say simple html then in the body i'm going to mention the setter tag and in the setter tag let's just show it here update post okay so right now what will happen is that whenever someone click on this edit button it will call this url with the specific id and our url will call the home controller edit underscore post function and our edit underscore post function will return us to this view which is update underscore post which is this one so right now if we just refresh here then click on let's say this one if we click on edit there you can see the url is edit underscore post 3 and we have a text over here update post so right now we're going to have some input field in order to update the title description and image so for it let's go back and here inside this uh, center we're going to mention a form over here then in this form we're going to have some div so in this div let's show over here level and here we're going to set title and for this title we are going to say over here input field we need the input field for the title so the type will be text and name will be title so let me just copy this then paste it over here and here so this one will be description and this one will be the uh, let's say image okay let's just show over here old image old image and we'll show the image from the database table so we will not use any input field and here we'll say change image and for the image the input type will be file and name will be image and over here for description we are going to use text area and here the name will be description and let me just add one more div over here and this one will be the submit button so input type will be submit and we'll show over here hello it will be update post so right now let's set this and if we now refresh then click on any edit option there you can see you have the title description old image text and change image option and the update post button let's just add a simple design over here and in order to add the design we can just copy from the home.blade.php from here so i just copy this style from here ctrl c and i'm going to paste it over here in the head section ctrl v over here and here you can see div underscore design and padding 15 px so we are going to have this class name for every div over here so i'm going to show over here class name will be div underscore design so let me just copy and let me select each one of them each one of the div then i'm going to paste over here then save it so right now if we refresh there you can see the design changed a little bit so here uh, what we are going to do is that for update post and for title we are going to get the data 
for the specific post so here you can see the post title is yamin so right now if we click on edit in the title it should show us yamin and it should also show us the description so right now what we are going to do is that we are going to get the data for a specific id in the input field and in order to do that what we need to do is that we will go to our home controller.php and for this id underscore post we are going to declare a variable over here let's set all our data equal to you can give the variable name anything you want okay equal to we are going to mention that model name which is post double clone we need to server here find dollar id so here you can see post this is a model name and you need to make sure you have added the model name at the top and after it you need to server here find id so what it will do is that whenever server click on a specific post it will get the id and send the id to the web i mean the route and our route will send this id to our this function and this function will find the specific id in the post table and store that specific id's data in this dollar data variable okay so let's say if someone click on the id uh, whose id is 2 then it will get the data for id 2 like it will get the title description and image for the id 2 and right now we'll just send this data specific data for the id to this view so here we are going to say comma compact then we saw our here data so right now we'll go to our update underscore post and here you can see we have the input field over here for title so here what we are going to do is that we are going to mention a value over here and in this value we will give to second bracket and here you can see from the home controller we are sending data from here a specific data only single data not multiple data so we don't need to any uh, need to use any for each loop we just need to server here dollar data this arrow sign and for which color you are trying to get uh, we are trying to get the title so in order to get the title you need to server here title so right now if we save it then if we now refresh over here there you can see you are able to get the title so the same way we can also get the description as well so let me just show you so here you can see text area so for text area we need to give to second bracket over here then we need to sort here dollar data this arrow sign description so save then if we now refresh here there you can see you are able to see the description so right now we are going to show the image that we have in the database and in order to do that that is simple here you can see old image so here we are going to mention the image tag and in this image source we are going to mention where is our image and our image is in the post table so we are going to mention the post table backslash to second bracket then here we say dollar data this arrow sign image so right now if we save then refresh okay the image is broken so here before this post we'll give another backslash okay save it again then let me refresh and there you can see the image is showing about here so right now let's make the image smaller let's show about here width it will be 150 save then refresh and there you go so this is the old image so right now in order to change the image we need to give the new image and click on update post button so we can also add some design over here as well so let me just copy the booster cdn link and uh, we'll paste it at the top of the head section and right now over here for the submit button we're going to mention a class and the class will be btn btn secondary secondary set then refresh and there you go this is the secondary button so right now what you want is that when we change the data over here then click on update and if we now change the image then click on update post it will update the data for this specific post and in order to do that what we need to do is let's go at the 
talk and over here in the update post we mention it from over here so we need to mention over here action then we need to say over here method and we also need to mention over here enc type it will be multi part slash from data f o r m from data so we need to mention this because we also want to update that file from here and in the method the method will be post and in this form we need to mention at the end of csrf token so in the action we we'll give to second bracket then we we'll saw here url to first bracket to sale condition let's the url name will be update underscore post and we'll also send the specific id from here so in order to send the specific id here you can see dollar data title so the same way we can also get the id so we saw it here dollar data this arrow sign id so right now we need to create a route for this with the id and the method will be post so right now let's go to our web.php and from here i'm just going to copy this route control c then control c so the route will be post so we'll see over here post and here you can see edit underscore post so it will be actually uh, update underscore post so let me just copy this and i'm going to paste it over here and the function name will be the same one update underscore post and we also need to catch the id over here because we are also sending the id from here so right now let's go to our uh, home controller and create this update underscore post function so let's go to our home controller dot php and here we are going to say public function update underscore post and here we need to mention two things one is request dollar request and after it we need to give our here dollar id and you can just explain why request dollar request because from the update underscore post dot blade dot php we are sending the title description and the image from here right so in order to catch those we need to write request dollar request and we are also sending the id from the route here you can see we are sending the id so we also need to catch the id over here okay so that's why you need to write it like this for update so first of all you need to declare a variable let's say it is dollar post you can say dollar data that's fine as well but this time let's go with dollar post equal to we are going to mention the post model name double tone the same way we need to show here find dollar id so why we need to find the specific id because for a specific id we want to update the data that's why we need to find the specific id and this id is diesel here you can see this id is diesel so right now after this what we are going to do is we are going to show here dollar post this arrow sign we saw here title equal to so here we are mentioning this dollar post over here the variable and then we are saying the title here you can see this title will come from the database table if someone wants to like update the title they will be able to update the title so here we will show it here dollar request this arrow sign and we need to catch the title from here from update post dot php so here you can see name equal to title for example let's say it is title 2 then what you have to do is that you just need to show it here title 2 but let's just show it here title and also title over here because that make more sense so this title will come from here so after title we have the description so let me just copy then paste over here and this one will be description so i am going to show here description and this will come from the database and this will come from the update underscore post on dot page from here after this we have the image but let me just show you like this we will show the image a little later so here we are going to say dollar post this arrow sign save and after saving the data we will return the user back to the same page so we we'll saw here return redirect back so what will happen after saving the data it will send the user back to the same page 
So right now let's set this and it will just refresh our here and here you can see uh, okay let me just go back and here you can see Shakil the Shakil description I'll click on edit and stop Shakil let's over here John and here you can see that Shakil this this is the John description description and right now if you click on update post it reloaded and it kept us on the same page but if you now go back and let me just refresh here and here you can see john the job description and if we now just refresh our database over here you can see john the john description so we are able to update the title and description so whenever uh, you click on edit it will automatically keep the title and description from the database and if you do not uh, make any changes and click on update it will just keep the whatever title you have over here title and description so right now let's say you want to update the image so in order to update the image what you need to do is that first of all let's go and declare a variable we saw what a dollar image equal to we need to request the image so we saw what here request image and here you can see request image this image variable is basically uh, this one here you can see change image you should type file and name equal to image so here what we are going to do is that we are going to give a if condition if there is a image it means if someone gives a image only then we'll update the image otherwise we'll keep the old image okay so that's why we are giving a if condition if there is a image and then we are going to show on here dollar image name first of all we'll change the image name so we'll change the image name using time function so we'll show on here time and we'll give a dot to single quotation inside it we'll give a dot and again a dot and after it we are going to mention this dollar image over here then this arrow sign then we'll show on here get client original extension like this and to fast bracket okay so let me just write it over here like this and there you can see so we need to write image them equal to time function so we are basically changing the image them using time function so after it we are going to show on here dollar request this arrow sign image then this arrow sign move will give to fast bracket to seal position and here you can see we stored the image in the post folder so we also need to update the image in the post folder as well so here we are going to mention the folder name post and then give a comma and we are going to mention this dollar image name paste over here and after it we are just going to save on here dollar post this arrow sign image equal to so here you can see we are just mentioning this dollar post over here and the image this the column name for image so this name will come from the database table and here we are going to store the image there so we'll just show over here image name and that's all so those four line is for updating the image so right now let's save this and let me just refresh over here then let's say john week and the description will be john week description and let's change the image from here let's give uh let's say this image click open and right now if i click on update post it reloaded and there you can see the image changed over here okay right now let's do one thing and that is after updating the image it will go back to the uh this page b underscore post okay so we are going to say over here is of return redirect back we are going to say return redirect it will be view underscore post save it and let's go back to the browser and click on this edit button and let's test only image this time so instead of this image we'll choose let's say uh let's choose this image click open and then click update and there you can see it took us to the v underscore post page and here you can see only the image updated over here 
so this is how you can update data in laravel so in the next tutorial we will see how to delete data in laravel so thank you very much for watching make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials